everyone. So um, today's Vlogmas would have been really boring. You would have watched me watching TV while folding laundry or doing laundry or editing several videos that need editing for other projects I'm working on. That's not really fun. So, and I need two hands for folding. So I thought I would do a tag today that I said I was going to do. I was actually tagged, oh, way back. I don't even know, I think before Vlogmas started by Allie, um, Allie Sevdalis. I think that's how you say her last name. I will link her channel below. And she did a Winter Wonderland tag. She was tagged by someone else in turn. And um, to this morning, actually, while I was getting dressed, I watched the holiday tag from Michelle1218, so I thought I would combine them both because there were questions from both that I thought were good. Well, they're all good. Some were repetitive. So I took all the questions and smooshed them into one Winter Wonderland holiday tag. So I printed them out and I even have some answers prepared so that this is a focused video. And if you're wondering about this, this is a look. I just copied one of the suggestions that came with the um, Too Faced semi-sweet chocolate palette. I will link that, the palette in the description box, but it's just, it comes with the little card that comes with the thing. I don't know. It's just, it's a different look. I'm not sure how I feel about it. And this is my bobble hat from the loft. Okay. Questions. Your favorite winter song? Well, I have a few. My all-time favorite Christmas song, and yes, I love Christmas songs. I might not celebrate the holiday, but I like all the little ancillary things about it. I love the Mariah Carey Christmas song. My husband loves the Mariah Carey Christmas song. He made me download it recently so we could listen to it over and over and over and over. But aside from the, that one, which I think everybody loves, I like the generic wintery ones. I love Let It Snow and Baby It's Cold Outside, probably because they're written in a key that I can actually sing along to. I don't have the best singing voice. My favorite winter pajamas. Well, I don't really wear pajamas like traditional cutesy sets from Victoria's Secret. When I get cold, our houses aren't really insulated well because we live in Texas. And um, I sleep in this when it's really cold. Let me back up. This is a hoodie I got uh, five years ago when we went to Vermont. It's the Vermont Catamounts. That is the name of my, that's where my husband went to school. He went to the University of Vermont and he played baseball there. And um, we went and stayed in Burlington for a few days and I picked this thing up. And when it gets really cold, I love to just snuggle up. So I will literally put the hoodie on over my head and just burrow into it with a pair of sweatpants. And I am happy and toasty and I love when I can finally wear this because it's not often that it actually gets cold enough to bundle up in a hoodie. Next question. Your favorite winter item or ornament that makes you happy? Well, I have two. Obviously, I don't have ornaments, but I do do decorations. The first thing, it's one of my most expensive things that I own as well. This is a crystal dreidel. If you don't know what a dreidel is, this is not one to be played with. And it has the letters etched into it. And this is a very heavy, very solid crystal dreidel that my aunt gave me for Hanukkah one year, and it's from Baccarat. So... It's very special, very expensive, very heavy piece of Hanukkah um, decorations. And then this, uh, <laughs> my parents got this for my oldest son when he, I think for his first Hanukkah, and it's a Mickey Mouse um, snow globe, and it says somewhere in here, it says Dreidel Factory. And if you wind it up, it plays your favorite song. And he spins around. And when it's dry and ready, oh dreidel, I shall play. Okay, next is my favorite winter thing to do. I'm gonna, um, it's sort of also a holiday tradition is we always go down to the river walk, we have dinner, we look at the lights, we listen to the carolers by the Alamo, we look at the big tree in Alamo Plaza. I did that already this year. We didn't, we saw some carolers, not as many as we usually see. And if you missed that, I will link that particular vlog below because that is my favorite out of all the Vlogmas videos. That is absolutely my favorite one that I did. My favorite winter drink slash favorite drink at Starbucks. Okay, so my favorite drink from Starbucks this year is the caramel brulee latte, which is hands down the best. They should just serve that year round. It is awesome. And we're not gonna talk about how many calories you earn a cup, but I will say that when I know I'm going to Starbucks, I will skip a meal like lunch and have that instead. So I feel like that evens it out. 
maybe. And then my favorite winter drink, and I will link the recipe below. Um, I saw it on Paula Dean a gajillion years ago. It's such a brilliant idea. It's cranberry apple cider that you make in a, not in a Keurig, but in like a real coffee pot, although you can make it. It's just as easy to make in a crock pot. You take the spices and you put them in the coffee basket, and then you, instead of filling the um, carafe or, you know, where you put the water, instead of filling it with water, you fill it with part cranberry juice and part apple cider, and then you brew it amazing. You can also just take the spices and wrap them in like cheesecloth and put it in a crock pot. So I will link that below. It is so good and it makes the house smell amazing. And if you're making it for a big crowd, then you can also add a little something, something like rum and then it's even more fun. Okay. Your favorite festive movie to watch. I have two. The first one is Love Actually. Do I even need to say any more than that? I love it. And then the second one is um, Home Alone for a couple of reasons. One, it's just a classic movie and it reminds me of my childhood. And also because it was filmed where I grew up and while they were filming it, I was, uh, I believe I was in high school, middle school or high school. And I would see them, the different crews filming the different scenes while I was, you know, like going about my business in our hometown. And I don't want to spoil anything, but some of that, most of that was not even filmed in winter. Just going to say, it's a fake snow. Okay, uh, what part of your routine changes during the winter? As far as the beauty routine, I would say I do a lot more moisture masks, thirst glam glow, thirsty mud features heavily in my skincare rotation, and the big thing is baths. I just take lots of hot baths because that's the only time you can do that in San Antonio and not die of heat stroke. What are you asking for this holiday season? Well, my holiday season is over, and what I asked for and what I got, and I never did get to show you, is my favorite perfume. This is the Hermes um, Amber Narguilé, and it is from the Hermescence line, which um, is only available in store in an Hermes boutique, or you can order it online. And it's already quite expensive. This is the big bottle. There's also a, a slightly less expensive, but actually much more economical. You get a lot of for your bang. Um, there's a travel set you can get, and you can pick which of the Hermes scents you want. And I always would pick um, all four being Amber Narguilé. But um, I like to try to get it in the store when I can because the shipping is, I think, $25, which I don't know why I have a problem with that, but that just seems like so much money for shipping. So we were in Dallas this weekend, as you all saw, and my husband um, bought this for me. This was my Hanukkah present, the one that I actually asked for. And then I think most of you already also know that I did not ask for this, but um, I ended up picking out the one I wanted. My husband got me some David Yerman earrings, which were lovely, but not quite my taste. And so I exchanged it for this cuff, which it's not gonna zoom in. I'm using my new camera, but you've seen it before, so that's that. Um, then a couple more questions. Favorite holiday nail color? Um, my favorite, not blue, I mean this is a nice Hanukkah color, but my favorite, because this is good for holidays, parties, and New Year's in general, is the Zoya Pixie Dust in Tomoko. And um, they are discontinuing this, this is the original formula for the Pixie Dust, they are discontinuing it, I'm very upset. It is still available. I do not like, I'm sorry Zoya, I love you and I love the chocolates you sent me, but I do not love your new pixie dust formula. I detest it. Um, and this is the most beautiful gold, cool gold sparkle. Um, a close second that I have worn many, many times, you've seen this throughout the years, is um, Zoya Trixie, which is just like a silver foily, beautiful with some shimmer in it, but really just metallic silver and it's gorgeous and I love it. Favorite holiday lip product, well this one is new and it's going to be in my December favorites as well and it is MAC Ruby Woo. And I am not even going to swatch it because let me tell you something about why I love this so much. I just recently got it this month. This baby, you put it on, it is not coming off. Like I had to take um, oil-based makeup remover to get this off. I wore it through two meals and a coffee and it still looked like fresh and new and as if I had just put it on. Could it be any more perfect for holiday season and parties and dinners? I don't think so. So I don't know if all of the MAC matte formulas work this way, but it is definitely worth looking into if you're going to an event. I gotta figure out if all the mattes work as well as that one, because that was amazing. Favorite holiday candle or scent? This one is also relatively new. I got sent this in a beauty box, the new beauty beauty box, which I keep forgetting to discontinue. Um, and this is by the company Votivo, and it's called Icy Blue Pine. 
and you know it's just a white candle but it's just the most clean pine scent and I find that with the heat on and all the other scents going on it gets a little heavy and this just makes the house feel clean and fresh um, this is new concept to me I've never really been a fan of pine and I don't know that I would have bought this um, or a pine scented candle but now that I have it and I've been burning it, I just love how it makes the house feel clean and crisp and refreshing and yet seasonal. And then faux or real tree. Well, obviously I don't have a tree in my house, but I do prefer a faux tree. I just think they look prettier. So there's that. And then any holiday traditions. There are a couple. I make latkes every year and you saw me do that. I'm actually making them again tomorrow night during um, Christmas Eve, even though Hanukkah is technically over. We don't really celebrate Christmas, but because my husband has no work those days, we get to hang out as a family. So he's frying a turkey and I'm making latkes. And then the other one that is specific to Hanukkah is we do light the candles every night and no matter what, no matter what we're all doing, at some point in the evening, we all four get together, stop what we're doing, light the candles, say the prayers, and it just gives us five minutes as a family to just stop the world and just be us together, just us for five minutes of, of kind of peace. And it's a really nice, it's just really nice for eight days straight to just have that. Um, it's a little harder when it happens earlier in December and there's school and all that going on, but it's just, it's nice to know that during all the holiday madness and the rushing about of your everyday life that for five brief moments, you get to be with your family and just enjoy the glow of the candles. So with that, um, I am done with the questions. Thank you for tagging me, Allie. I will link her channel and Michelle's channel below. And to all of you who celebrate Christmas, have a wonderful Merry Christmas. Christmas, is there a happy holiday? What do you do for Christmas Eve? Just Merry Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful evening tonight with your family, with your friends, however you're spending it. Um, I will see you tomorrow for the last day of Vlogmas. Thank you so much. I hope that um, tonight and tomorrow are just wonderful days for all of you. For those of you that are celebrating Hanukkah, Congratulations, you made it through eight nights. You can start eating protein again, and um, hopefully we won't have to hear the dreidel song for a very long time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. It's the last night of Hanukkah, so I never have to hear that song again until next year. Yay!